What is up, members of my collector core? It is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you can call me Vinny, and today we are going to take a look at the Haya Toys Exquisite Basic Series King Ghidorah 2019. This figure was revealed after Haya announced more MonsterVerse figures would be on the way, and when Ghidorah was first revealed, fans flipped for this figure. It was more accurate, the figure had an actual paint job, it had everything fans wanted that the Monster Arts failed to deliver. The figure was also huge, which was also a nice bonus, because who doesn't love to get big figures? MSRP clocks in at a generous $120, so that's cheaper than Monster Arts already. When the figure was released, many collectors say this is a really good figure, absolutely better than the Monster Arts cousin, and overall just a great piece. So it seems this figure delivered quite a bit to the table. How much does it deliver? And where do I stand with the whole thing? Let's not waste any more time and see if this figure is worthy of a spot on your MonsterVerse shelf. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, where do I begin? This figure looks so good. Great even. Incredible, if you will. This figure is loaded with so much detail and color, and look at all the gorgeous shading. It all looks good. The paint blending is amazing and well done. The faces look amazing. Ghidorah's likeness has been captured perfectly in this piece. All the eyes are looking straight, so this proves you can paint small eyes on a figure and not have them derped. The teeth are cleanly painted as well. The whole front of the figure has this bone white color for his skin and it looks great. Brings the figure more to life. The figure has a dark beige color for his scales and it all looks so good. And features shading to help highlight the muscular details. There's dry brushing on the back of the figure to help highlight all the back spikes. The sides of the legs also have spikes that have been dry brushed. The wings are absolutely gorgeous. There's paintwork all over the wings and has sculpted and painted veins. And it looks awesome. It helps bring the wings more to life. Helps bring the figure more to life. They are huge as well. And the paint blending on the wings is all incredible. Zoomed in, you can really see the details and the texture that has been worked into the figure. The tails are short, but dangerous looking still. And the spikes on the ends of the tails are accurate, and it looks great. Paint jobs on the spikes are not the cleanest, but it's something you can only notice when looking up close. The whole figure commands a lot of attention when on a shelf, and it's not just with the size. The amount of details and paintwork just keeps your eyes glued onto it. That's how good this looks. I could go on and on and on on how good the figure looks and gush about it the whole video, but we gotta move on. Overall, King Ghidorah is an amazing looking piece in all the right ways, covered in a great sculpt and paintwork. It's all so good. Articulation is just as, if not better, than the SH Monster Arts. So, let us see what, what he's got. Mouths can all open, it, they are on, the jaws are on a hinge, and the tongues are also on a hinge, each and every one of them, so you can open and close them, no problem. The necks are pre-curved, so articulation on them is going to be a bit limiting, but still, you should be able to get all of them looking up in any direction, no problem. So they can all look up, they can all, well that one just likes to pop off. They can all look straight down, no problem. And of course they, they can flex in different directions without any issue. So changes are, you want Ghidorah's heads in a specific pose. You can do, do it. There's an ab crunch, which is limiting, but it still gets the job done. Legs are on ball joints. Can kick upward. Just about the, uh, this far. Can kick backward. Not very far at all. Knees are on a hinge. Can kick him out straight or give them a bend. 
ankles are on a swivel hinge so they could go all the way out to right here and can flex them forward just about two notches worth ankles are on the you know, ball joints mostly for for just uh, adjustment reasons the tails are on a series of ball joints Now, some people that could not get the tails on all the way have used a Dremel to make the socket bigger. Do not do that. That is a bad idea. I know that from experience. You just have to heat it up for a long time. Like, it took me five minutes to heat mine up to the point where I, I could actually get it on the socket easily. You can't see it because it's out of frame, but I'm holding it by the tip of the tail and it has not popped out. So, yeah. The wings are interesting. So, we have multiple panels of wings. Here's the bottom panel, which is on a ball joint. And I think it's also on a bit uh, on a bit of a swivel hinge as well. So for that, and also for, for this one. Each of the panels can connect into each other. They are segmented. So yeah, the bigger wings are on ball joints right here, so you can get them to flap back without any problem, can get them to flap forward without any problem, and of course can go up and down. And there's a, a, a bit of a swivel hinge in there as well. Now you can get Ghidorah into his famous crawling pose. Uh, by messing around with uh, the wing pa uh, panels. I'm going to show you an alternate vi video of them. Uh, I'm going to show you an alternate video of me putting Ghidorah into his crawling pose just to show you how it works. But basically, it just involves folding the wing panels into specific positions just to follow what I am doing, and you can get Ghidorah crawling. Uh, no problem. So, yeah, there's that. Hello, future Vinny here. I forgot to inform you that uh, the more you mess with the wings, getting him into the crawling pose, the more you're definitely going to scrape off some of the paint on the hinges right here, or or just the wings in, in general. So keep in mind, if you want to keep changing the poses, you're going to be ruining more and more of, of, of the paint job. So keep that in mind. It sucks, but such is life, I guess. So, Ghidorah does not have any accessories besides clamps. What's this? This is a clamp to hold his whole body, just in case you want to have him lunging forward a, a little bit. Do keep, in, do keep in mind that these stands are a little bit awkward to, to work with. But yeah, look at that. It gets the job done and it supports his weight no, uh, no problem. It's molded into the shape of Ghidorah's front, so if you need him to be crawling or need to need him lunging forward in some way, you can do that. Now these highest stands can disconnect in multiple uh, segments, just in case you need need them in a certain height or whatever. We also have uh, these wing supports as well. Now I already disconnected one of these segments because I usually hold the wings up by here. And there you go. The wings are now supported with no problem. Do not support them by the wing tips. You are begging for them to break. You're begging them to break by, uh, by supporting them there. They are meant to be su supported by um, by the actual panels uh, themselves. So Ghidorah, while it doesn't have accessories, has excellent an excellent support system to, uh, to keep him up. The monster arts only had uh, the crotch piece, which did not help much, if at all. 
uh, uh, Ghidorah still had a tendency to keep falling over. But now, you have nothing to worry about with Ghidorah falling over, because you have this. So in other words, you want to display Ghidorah, have fun. Uh, you want to pose him, have fun. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to getting Ghidorah in specific uh, p positions and whatnot. The Haya really ho ho hooked you up here with the support si system. And like I said, you can adjust the height of these wing supports by using these. I just took them off because it's easier to shorten them uh, that way. So, yeah. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to getting Ghidorah on a display. Here's a size comparison with other figures you may or may not own. Ghidorah is gargantuan. His wingspan is nearly two feet wide, which is ginormous, and he towers over a lot of figures. Now, some folks can make the argument he's still oversized for Godzilla and other monsters. I can kind of see why. Ghidorah is probably still too big for his own good, but at the same time, Godzilla is seven inches anyway, so who knows? I'm neutral on the whole thing. This is absolutely better than Monster Arts, it's no contest. It has so much going for him. Sculpt is phenomenal, the paint job is amazing, articulation is also great stuff, and the accessories are perfect, absolutely amazing. Is it perfect? No, but it still is such a good piece. My only issue is the necks not being quite as poseable as I would have wanted, but even then that's a nitpick. I highly recommend this figure while it is still on the market. I know a new version is coming out with gravity beams, but if you want it now, you may want to grab this figure sooner rather than later because you'll never know when it'll sell out or not. For the price $120, you simply can't beat that. That is such a good deal for this figure. That's awesome. I have to say, this may be my favorite King Ghidorah figure of all time. I love this figure so much, and if you're a fan of the MonsterVerse or Godzilla in general, you'll also love this figure. This figure gets itself an excellent 9.5 out of 10. Go get this figure, it is so worth it.